Hello and welcome to the big day, day 24 of this, the Exit the Game Advent Calendar. That means we are very close to Christmas Day. And even for me, I'm recording this in the afternoon of the 23rd and I still haven't wrapped any presents. I hope you are more ready for Christmas than I am. But in terms of the Advent Calendar, I'm completely ready to get going. So here is our storybook with one entry left. Here are hints and solutions. I really hope we don't need those today. Right, here we go. Let's go past the prologue, which I read a long time ago, and here is the story for the 24th of December. Now, I've had a quick look already, and it basically says, well, why don't I read the whole thing out? We are nearly at the end of the calendar. Well, we are. You have circled the whole mountain village and are now approaching a door that was previously completely hidden. It's the door we found yesterday on the side of the calendar, isn't it? Though more improvised than powerful, the pendulum actually worked. And if you haven't watched yesterday's video to see what this is referring to, you should do. It's really fun. Um, who would have thought it? Will you finally find the golden book now? It's about time. As you get closer, you recognise a number, a rather auspicious one emblazoned on the wooden door. A 24. Your hands begin to tingle with tension. <laughs> you hardly expect to be able to open the door. But what is this? There is a note on the door. How nice, my friend, that you are here. Congratulations, most sincere. You found your way through every test, so you have earned a little rest. You've nearly ended your long journey, so could you do one last thing for me? Solve the clues behind this door, but then you must find one door more. I'll be there waiting, you shall see. But hurry, I don't like cold tea. You scratch your head. What a strange rhyme, did Santa Claus write it? But how would he know about the hidden door? Well, perhaps it was the thief. And what's this about his tea getting cold? He has got some nerve. And what was that about another door? Could you have missed something in the village? You make up your mind to check it out soon. But right now, you open this door first, right in front of your nose, which is now red and running from the cold. Presumably your nose, not the door. After all, this is supposed to be one of two parts to be found for the final riddle. Interesting. Now open door 24, behind which you find a secret message. When you have found the secret message, Continue reading on the back of this page. Okay, so we'll put this aside and now we'll go over to the calendar. Let's get going and have a look at the size of the calendar. Um, so yesterday we worked out the day 24, as you do, uh, is on the side of the calendar here. Nothing to see here, but there was something to see there. Underneath the seemingly modest text is a hidden door. Right, here we go. I've got a view looking down and let's see what happens when we open door 24, eh? I'm a bit afraid I'm going to destroy what's remaining the structural integrity of the calendar. In fact, I'm not even sure there's anything behind it. Is there a message on it? Oh, there's something here. Oh, a bit of paper. Oh, it's a message. Congratulations, you are almost there. You have found two pages from the Golden Book. I am very proud of you. Now all you need is the book itself. Do you know where it is hidden? A tip. Search for it in the unreachable room. Find that and you will be able to solve the final riddle. Then I will have a surprise for you. I will cross my hooves for you. With best wishes, you are. When you have solved the final puzzle, read the epilogue in the storybook. And on the back of it, oh, huh. well, it looks like a word search or something of that sort. Maybe it isn't. It starts you party, biscuits. There's lots of words in here. Shoes, shin, night, okay. Let's put this down and have a good look at it. Now, I've just remembered, as I said that, that it says, after you have found a secret message, continue reading on the back of this page. So let's do that. Another door? You go back to the mountain village and look for the unreachable room. But what you find behind it isn't at all what you anticipated. At first, you are completely blinded by a bright light, see acting to, and can hardly recognise anything at all. An electrical hum and crackle fills the air. Then, as your eyes slowly adjust to the brightness, you recognise a strange device. It's a pretty futuristic creation with all sorts of wires and cables attached to it, but there, firmly clamped exactly in the middle, is the golden book that you've been hunting for. You finally found it. There is no doubt this is Santa's book. All you have to do is free it from this machine. Funny, this machine reminds you of something. Mm, you suspect it has to do with time travel. Only now do you notice the back of a mighty armchair on the wall on the left. As it starts to spin, all at once your pulse begins to race. Is this the big showdown? Will the villain finally reveal himself? The thief who is behind this whole story? You prepare yourself. The chair turns slowly further round. Then, from the depths of the cushions, an animal appears. You recognise it. It smiles at you as it munches on a cookie. 
<laughs> now open the door to the unreachable room, behind which you'll find three riddle cards. S1, S2, S3. All right. And we still have this uh, letter and uh, word grid type puzzle thing. So the unreachable room, I assume, is referring to the room we haven't opened on the calendar. So here we are. What else could it be referring to? The unreachable room must be this one somewhere around the middle, which hasn't been opened. Okay, top middle. Here. It must be what it means. Let's open it. Right. Let's have a look in the unreachable room. Okay, this looks... Oh, yeah. Okay, this is... this is. I can see. You can't see, but there's a reindeer sitting to the side. And here are three riddle cards. S1, S2, and S3. And what do they say? Let's have a look. Okay, so we need to cross some words out. I can immediately guess from what it says here. Hello, I've been expecting you. So glad that you found me in the heart of my plan, my magical time machine. The golden book you are looking for is indeed here, firmly clamped in the machine. However, it is not entirely complete. To free it, you will need two missing pages. When you have solved the riddle and found them, please bring them here. Until then, I will drink tea and occupy myself with Christmassy thoughts. Well, that's very seasonal. What would Christmas be without, and without is in bold, party, singing, baking nights, and so forth. So I assume we are crossing these words out of that grid to leave uh, some text, which hopefully makes sense. But let's have a look in the room as well, see what's going on here. Right, so there is the golden book clamped in the machine. And wow, there's a lot of cables going into it. And here is the master criminal himself, Rudolph, presumably with his red nose and a Christmas tree and a cup of something or other and a bowl with cookies around it. Okay, and then on the right-hand side, there's some sort of sparky thing. Some more Christmas paraphernalia on the floor. I've already looked at that, really. On the ceiling, nothing very exciting. Let's have a look back at all this stuff. Right, now, do I need this bit? The letter here, the um, door prompt. You will find one door more. I'll be waiting there. I think we've used this probably open this door first right in front of your nose oh no that's the tale 24 we did here's the golden book will the villain reveal himself open the door read the epilogue after you've solved the puzzle okay fine i think we are done with that bit of paper and i think we need to focus on this right okay so what would christmas be without these so i assume we are meant to be answering that question what indeed would christmas be without those things so shall i start crossing them out I guess so. Um, right. I think I might tape this down because otherwise it is going to keep moving a lot. Well, I don't think we need to watch this bit at full at regular speed because it's not going to be very exciting watching me solve this word puzzle, is it? So I shall speed it up. Party. Party. Just to interrupt my speed solve, it already starts and starting to say, you did it. You saved Christ. Christmas. I probably actually don't really need to cross out all these words in order to read the message, but I will. Side note, they're having snow and snowshoes. Not very clever because you might not cross out the other snow, but anyway. Okay, well, we've done it. That's everything crossed out. This is actually, I realise, biscuit sweets. Very British in some respects. So perhaps there's an American version of the calendar too. And if you've just sold it and are watching this video, you may find it different, but I don't know. Anyway, you did it. You saved Christmas. Yeah, excellent. You will find your present. What's this looking up? You will find your present behind all the rooms and you can tell your friends all about your heroic yeah it was wasn't it your heroic adventures well there we go we need to rip open the calendar now and look for something behind it is my understanding behind all the doors okay so i guess i'm pulling out the tray let's move this camera out of the way it's definitely in the way and see what's behind here Oop. well that's torn it here we go Oh, it looks so dramatic when it's all out together. Oh, what's here? I'm a bit wary of tipping this upside down because all of the doors are going to start falling out. But look, there is a poster of some sort. Right, so here are all the doors of the calendar, uh, neatly arranged, and then this entire tray lifts out. Ooh. 
and then on the back of it and you can see yeah there's nothing there i'm going to put this on the floor neat carefully so i don't want thousands of bits of cardboard everywhere and then we have this uh lots of postcards that say i saved christmas and then on the back of it ah now you can send everybody an exit the, move that out of the way now you can send everybody a exit the game postcard those are quite cool and so they perforated no they're for you to cut but there we go i guess that's our present for saving christmas what have we got um well that's the box of this calendar that's a bit of it yeah there you are. this is that the camel scene um the ice cave the alice cave that we couldn't really see inside um dj studio oh it's the sound studio yeah the room of the mammoths okay they're all different cards from uh <laughs> from this year's calendar and i guess you could send them to people if you wanted to well there we go the calendar is complete and do you know what i nearly forgot to read out the epilogue and uh, actually the sun is shining a bit of christmas sun uh to uh, make it a dramatic ending but let's have a look at that epilogue um so it is here and i've just had a quick look at it it is three pages so i'm not going to read it all out that is a lot of reading um, but basically it says you are completely taken by surprise and find yourself face to face with Rudolph, the reindeer with a red nose. He looks at you expectantly and doesn't say a word. Can he even talk? After all, he is a reindeer and you are not an expert in that field. But apparently he can write. Who else are the message is supposed to have been from? You are wondering what to do now. Rudolph doesn't look particularly dangerous, but if he stole the golden book from Santa Claus, well, who knows? And you need to bring it back. You are determined and ready to go to extremes. Nothing will stand in your way. Well, there we go. So you have a chat with Rudolph, who turns out you can actually talk. Um, and he basically says he's taken the golden book because he feels overworked by Santa Claus. And that um, he realises that Santa Claus isn't exploiting it. With all that time travel ability, he can make things much easier. And it turns out he's basically taken the book to scare Santa into appreciating him and to make sure that he can have a little holiday break for himself. Um, so once all that's happened, yeah, here we go. You can hardly believe it. You risk Christmas just to get a holiday. Oh, stuff and nonsense. What do you think? The boss would have the book back today anyway. But I admit, I wanted to give him a little scare. Maybe next time he will think about the fact that we reindeer deserve a thank you every now and then. But don't worry, I kept an eye on you the whole time. I had complete confidence in your talent for puzzles. But if something had gone wrong, I would have returned the book anyway, of course. In any case, it then says the golden book in your hand suddenly becomes red hot and you let it fall. The machine whistles behind you. You feel a little queasy for a moment and close your eyes to get rid of the uncomfortable feeling. As you open your eyes again, you see your own decorated Christmas tree. Four candles are lit up on the advent wreath on your living room table. Hang on a second, how did you get here? And is it Christmas already? There's a large pile of presents under your tree. Haven't you just got back from your Christmas shopping? You think about it for a moment. There was a blizzard and then... How much time has passed since? You feel dizzy for a moment and are certain you've just experienced something unusual, but you just can't remember what. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is playing on the radio and you start to whistle along. You've always enjoyed this song with its funny hero. <laughs> you look happily at your presents. Soon you'll be sharing them out and then it will really be Christmas at last. And that is the end of the calendar. There's a blank page and an advert for other Exit the Game products which I also thoroughly recommend. Well, there we go. The calendar is complete for another year. That's two Exit the Game calendars I've solved on YouTube. I hope you've enjoyed this solve. I have thoroughly enjoyed my experience with this calendar. It was every bit as good as I'd hoped it would be based on having solved last year's calendar. And I guess all that remains is for me to wish you a very happy Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, then whatever festival comes next for you. I hope you've had the best time watching these videos. I am so glad that you chose to join me for them. If this is your first video or your last video and you've watched them all, whatever it is, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I do hope to post some videos during 2023 that aren't just Advent calendar solves. We'll see whether that happens. I said the same last year, never got around to it. But this year, I have actually made a little bit of a plan for it. So fingers crossed that's going to happen. And if I do... I hope you will join me. So to do so, by here, you can join my channel, subscribe to it, and that will make it easier to find future videos. I think they may even get recommended to you. Hopefully that will be the case. In the meantime, there are all my solves of this year's calendars here and last year's calendars here if you want more videos. But whether you do or you don't, I hope to see you again very soon. And until then, all the best. Bye-bye.